Now, don't click away. I'm, I'm sure you're going to scroll down and have a look. Make sure you've clicked on the right video. You have. This is Iceland, the darts vlog. This, this isn't Iceland. This is WrestleMania, of course, where I started my week. But it was a long flight through the night. It was sort of like a three o'clock in the morning leave to head back to the UK to have one day in the UK before going back to the airport again to jump on a flight from Birmingham Airport over to Iceland. This was for the darts. This was for two bronze events taking place in Reykjavik. The same event I went to last year which was my first event back after taking some time out due to the injury and the things that I was suffering with at last year and I went back purely because I wanted to try and defend that title we was looking out the window trying to see the volcano there's a bit of a volcanic eruption going on over there at the moment we wasn't able to see it on the way in but we did go and see sort of like the cooled down lava that had been going over the road. Halle was very good in picking us up from the airport and taking us down to see this. He did also take us down to his local darts club as well, which I've mentioned before, Iceland do an awful lot of things right. And once again, this club, incredible. Not many places like this in the UK at all. And this is why I believe places like Iceland are soon going to be catching up places like the UK. They did used to have 100 players just a couple of years ago now I've registered 680 players really isn't going to be long before they start to unearth a real gem of a talent over there especially when you look at the 16 boards plus the stage they do a lot of round robins they get a lot of darts in there's it's it's going to be a developing nation. I'm pretty confident of that from my two trips over to Iceland. One thing, though, that we do is we go a couple of days early to this one. So I arrived there on Thursday morning. And it just gives us a couple of days just to sort of settle in. Certainly needed that after the WrestleMania trip. But gives us a chance to go around and do a bit of sightseeing as well. A lot of people see Iceland as a bucket list location. And one of the things we really want to do is get out there and see the northern lights we, we had a choice we, we could have gone on the boat or we could have gone on the bus tour as you can tell we opted to go on the boat as you can tell looking at the sky and not seeing anything going on on there it was the wrong choice and we went onto the aura app and we found out that actually the bus tour People did see the northern lights so yeah we kind of got that one wrong we did go on a bus tour though that was the next day this was friday Again, early morning start, sort of 7.30 bus pickup for a tour on the south coast, which on the way down there, lots of sights and things to take in. Iceland's a lovely place. You can see why people have it as a bucket list location. Me, personally, I'm not really into sort of this type of scenery as such, but even I could appreciate sort of how nice of a location Iceland is. Plenty of waterfalls and little bits going around and we was visiting a couple of waterfalls on our journey. This was the, the first one on, on the stops. This one you kind of got a little bit wet if you got a little bit too close to it. You can see sort of the spray coming there across the rainbow. So you had to be careful of that. It was a walk down to see one of the glaciers as well. This was probably my favourite stop of the day. Did really enjoy this one. I, I do like ice for some reason. There's something about ice. And you can see it like melting and breaking up this glacier. Making down this like glacier pool at the bottom here with the big lumps of ice in there as well you couldn't walk any further closer to it because apparently there's little pockets there that you can sort of get sucked in and sucked into so certainly stayed safe on that one as we did when we went down towards like the black beach because that sea looked very rough and quite treacherous at times it's sort of swooping in and yeah going nowhere near that i'll stand back here i'll use a bit of zoom on the camera that'll do me i can see what i want to see from here jobs are good and offer a bit of lunch thank you very much after a spot of lunch we did then go to the proper sort of black beach area which had this like cave and all these different bits going on it jody fell over here that that was probably the highlight of the day for me actually that was hilarious i'm not gonna lie Saturday did arrive. It was the day, the first day of darts, two days in total, Saturday and Sunday. I, being a creature of habit, wanted to go on the same practice board I did last year, sitting at the same table in this back room. And I spoke before about how Iceland do things well. Now, just take a look around this room. This is like a practice room to the side. Then you've got the main room where all your match boards are, and they're all fitted up. Without, they weren't using the Scolia system, obviously, but 
it was all fitted up with Scolia systems, Darts Connect, good lighting, good surrounds, good boards, good space. I keep mentioning Iceland are doing a lot of things right. And look, this is in the meat of the tournament. And I've got a practice board to myself. There's that many boards. And if you cast your mind back not too long ago, I was talking about how there was over 600 players for two boards. So it just goes to show why I believe that Iceland is going to be one of those sort of developing nations over time. In the actual event, I actually felt okay. I, I felt I was playing okay. I was throwing the darts well. The, there wasn't really too much in terms of uncomfortness, so to speak, in, within the throw and the action. So I thought I was going to be on for a good day. Now, average-wise, it was a little bit lower than maybe it should have been. If you check through the game details, you'll see there it's mostly down to the doubles. A lot of the games, sort of 11-plus ton scores in each of the matches. So happy enough with that. In regards to the scoring phase, just needed to sharpen the doubles up. Did go out in the quarterfinal stage, which does mean I got some points on the board. And obviously still that day still to go on the Sunday, which would be when I'd be trying to defend my Iceland Masters title, the title I won in 2023. There isn't a lot of footage really from the Saturday. I've got to admit, I just crashed out. I was so, so tired. I was asleep by about seven o'clock at the latest literally got back from the venue had something to eat and i was asleep and that was it till the next day jody decided to play on this day it was the marking that sort of puts her off and sort of the chance of being knocked out the tournaments quite quick but sunday is a round robin event in iceland and it meant that she got plenty of games and she actually did okay with the marking side of things as well did play in it last year i think she won three legs last year and this year won like five or six legs this year nearly won a game actually had some match darts as well so i'm sure that was a, a big step forward for jody now I'm, I'm very complimentary of iceland but i will say they probably got this one a little bit wrong on the sunday the round robin instead of doing like last year groups of six they did groups of eight which actually meant i got in there at nine o'clock and we had an hour's prep from nine o'clock till ten o'clock tournament started at ten o'clock and then i was leaving there around about quarter to four half past three so quite a long day to, to say the least just in the group stages they then had to do other groups because they had to split into two groups so there's a morning session afternoon session so the afternoon session got underway which meant the actual knockout stages started at around about nine o'clock at night now i preempted this i sort of tried to work it out roughly in regards to each of the groups and how long i expected them to take so i actually went back to my hotel room in between tournaments to treat it almost as two separate days and sort of have sort of a rebuild going into the evening so morning session get down get all the group stages done i won all those matches didn't play great at all really struggled through that but top the group back to the hotel bit of a lie down had a shower had like breakfast all over again gelled the hair again it literally was as if i was going to a tournament again for the first time i treat it as two completely separate days in the evening i did play a little bit better than i did in the in the daytime really did struggle though on the sunday actually had a bit of inflammation on the wrist and a lot of heat coming from that which is a new sort of symptom of the issue i've been facing now with that in mind i have sorted some more advice to try and see if we can get something else done with that uh, i've got a dietitian on board now who believes that by changing some of the things within the diet that that will benefit as well so um, certainly with removing that inflammation so it's probably going to be about a month now until i get back out throwing again it was a quarter final again so back to back quarter finals which in terms of the ranking actually works out quite well because it means i top that up a little bit this is your lakeside world rankings still 21st 311 points so sat okay at the moment when we look down and probably in there at the moment by a good sort of 80 90 points at the moment so it's going to give me a little bit of time that i do need to have that little bit of a rest to get this diet underway and on board to do this training plan that i've been sent to get the treatment and then hopefully be back in action by the end of may now, I have seen on socials a couple of people surprised with the sort of commitment or the travel issues that I'm willing to go past, the lack of sleep or everything that's sort of been going on to get me to these events. It's because of you guys, the Patreons that are supporting this journey. I can't let you down. I've got to be there regardless of how tricky it is for me. 
like I said, I will be just taking a couple of weeks back at the moment just to make sure everything's okay because that inflamed wrist is something I've not had before. So I'm just going to get that checked out properly and I will be back hopefully at the end of May. I'm looking at Switzerland as being the next one. So I'm going to miss a couple. I'm missing Denmark, but I am doing PDC Pro Tour commentary that week anyway. So that's okay. We can miss that one. If I can get back a little bit sooner, maybe we'll get Cyprus in there in the middle of May. But hopefully end of may will be on for two silver events in switzerland so make sure you are subscribed for plenty more dance video diaries